in a world that produces more than enough food for everyone to eat, do so many, one in every seven of us, go hungry? We at Oxfam believe that hunger, along with obesity, obscene waste, and appalling environmental degradation, is a byproduct of a broken food system. We also believe that hunger is about power. Power above all determines who eats and who does not. Oxfam is convinced that we need to address the systemic issues of power in order to deal with hunger. How unequal access to resources and opportunities within the food system makes it impossible for smallholder farmers around the world to grow food to feed their families and live in dignity. The fact that 50% of these farmers are women, already restricted by their culture to access and already not respected for their roles as principal breadwinners. We need to accept that the US and other rich country government policies, as well as those of multinational companies, impact small-scale farmers across the globe. We need to openly debate, even here in LA, openly debate and talk about how we can put an end to harm, harmful policies like biofuel incentives that turn food producing land to fuel producing land, creating spikes in food prices, sometimes leading to food riots. We need to hold governments and corporations accountable. We need to deal with these links and the need for accountability between international commodity markets and small scale indigenous and women farmers, both in developing countries and in countries such as the US. And we need to increase farmers' access to resources like land and water so that they are more prepared to deal with droughts and floods. We also need to make sure that food aid systems in times of humanitarian emergency are more effective and more efficient. We need to approach this from all sides. What movements such as yours and a similar one we are supporting in Peru called the Mistura, a regional festival led by the Gastronomic Association of Peru that highlights the contribution of small-scale indigenous farmers to Peru's culinary culture and the importance of investing in agriculture and conserving land for food and not biofuels. Today we are honoring Cesar Chavez and his fight for justice and fairness in the fields where our food is grown. We are convinced that working with movements such as yours and those in Peru and other parts of the world, we will build a growing global movement for change and dare to dream of another future, a time when there is true food justice and the right to food for everyone. We can build it together. Thank you. Woo.